Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there, welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. Got word of a cyber psycho attack, all confirmed. Even reported to Max Tech. Thing is, nobody's gonna show because Militech shut it right down. You ask me, psycho's gotta be one of theirs. My eddies are on Lieutenant Mower. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece. Interesting.
You want trouble? Anything? Hey, Rogue. Got the scratch. Got the cred for the Hellman job. Fine. Anders Hellman, flick me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. I hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially, anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Must be prepping him for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese Corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Uh-huh. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But, right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. 
Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it, not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them. Or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. Thought nomads give the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. Did she run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. All clear. Let's get out of Thanks. Here. Good luck. Get you ready? Pan Am? V here. V who? V where? How did you even get this number? From Rogue. Oh, uh, great. Fuck. Where's that old war horse want to kick me now? <laughs> this thing between you and Rogue. Couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch in your car? Getting him back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Anita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Man. Do you know you could store stuff in your car? Why didn't you tell me that? I didn't know you wanted to know. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. You can also open the trunks of any car that you see on the whenever you're exploring. Damn. I haven't found anything in the trunk yet, but I mean, you can still look if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll go with that. Looks like a rabbit. 
a bit now. Even has it on the bikes too. I didn't know. I just went to get on my bike. It was like open stash. I'm like, what? What? Right now, he was very troller. Huh? He was very troller right now. You know what? <laughs> Which is quite interesting considering when your character started. Yeah, corporate. I'm actually headed out to meet a uh, nomad. Brakes are either overly sensitive or just complete crap. I haven't figured out maybe if it has something to do with how hard you press the button or how far. So the bike I notice if you slightly tap down it gives you a little bit more control than if you just slam on the brake. Yeah, I noticed when you're on the bike using the brake to create the blue ones on you. In first person? Yeah. I did a straight up a care slide in one of my streams where I was like, hey, oh shit. Sorry. Beep beep. It's gotta go. In order to make a sharp turn, you gotta let off the gas too. It's weird. Down there. Hey, you can take my life with a grenade. You should be fine. How can you tell? Wait. The stars. No, the stars, as long as there's not a skull next to them, they're on your level. What do you mean, grenade? Like, because they're all grouped together, you should just be able to throw a grenade down there. Yeah, but they got a hostage down there, I'm not gonna... Spotted from somebody else. Drum. Huh? Drum. Right there. Where? Right there. No, right by the tree. Over there in the fence. No, it's in the fence. Right there. Right there. I found my favorite new mod as far as everything else goes. Blinding. Really helps with stealth. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, I love that. I used that a lot on a recent mission I, uh, I just did. Was the one getting the hotel? No. Yeah, that's the one I used it on. It's a, get the hotel and spot it so you can get a bonus. I went in originally shooting and then it was like, I died. And so I went in, I kind of blinded the guy, stole his key and just went in. I was able to do it. Okay, why am I in combat? And this is where the leg mods come in. I need to get those mods. How does he see me? Did he poke his head out from that door?
What the hell did I step into? You know the guy who can shoot the fastest in the world but it uh eight bullets and one foot in a revolver. Okay. He's able to do six shots, reload six shots at two point two seconds. Or two point five nine. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Shot him. They don't just near a security base, what the fuck is this? Are these security guards? Did I just commit a crime? Another assault in progress? Did I miss something? I guess because I was in combat at the same time, I just did Fine. Alright. Oh shit, I hate when that happens.
God damn it! Oh, it's aggravating. Yeah, I recently got a perk that slows down time whenever I pass 25% health. Very well, I slow when I slide and crouch and you motherfuckers. Really? Anyway, I'm pissed now. What is this place? I don't understand. Where did it put me at? Um, right before you put me down. What the fuck? Huh? Okay, yeah, this is where I went down and got in that firefight. What is that place? Just where is in. The I don't know where I was. I wasn't around here anywhere. That's fucking where. Or was it right here? Yeah, it was right here, wasn't it? No? Yeah. You went down there. Here's my definition. You're on the left. Hmm. That is weird as hell. So is there anything else I need to know that I don't know? Um... Hey, Pan Am? So you're a V. Where's my car? <clears throat> Agree to help me, you'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car, but you go alone, you won't get them back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a cane tail transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. King Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal. I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boz, hey. Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? 
You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meet. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Gave that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called... You should try getting one of your own. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. <laughs> it was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Good, let's roll. Get in. Really? Down the street. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me, no. Not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. <laughs> How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue, do better not to worry what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was rapping. Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm-hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams. Sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? 
Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. <laughs> you know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? We'll manage without him. Shut it. Don't be a dick, Mitch. Help me. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance, but... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. What the Maybe a little, say? yes. Uh, what about Washington's ancient history? Okay, so... Hey, Pan Am, are you staying have? a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk Whatever next time. Like I'm trying to find all this crap before I believe. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Let's not your concern, friend. Help me with this. What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? When you come back? This is starting to get a little intense. Pen Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. Go. Hop in. Okay, is bossy? Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? 
Haven't been so lucky. I see. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They're on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. I was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. Can you hear it? What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Seems you've got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue? Saul? Your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised to change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Down Rocky Ridge. Could be any debtor. Everything down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. But there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. Come on. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. 